The sky's the limit. Yeah, in a historic feat, Elon Musk's SpaceX just broke its own record for most orbital launches in a single year, shocking the entire industry. This happened last weekend, when the company sent 21 of its Starlink internet satellites to orbit atop a Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 10.47 p.m. EDT. Following the launch, the Falcon 9's first stage executed a precise return to Earth, landing on the drone ship Just Read the Instructions stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. This marked the 10th successful flight for the booster, identified as B-1073-10, which had previously supported a range of missions. More impressively, it was SpaceX's second orbital mission of 2023, setting a new record for most flights in a year. The old mark was set in 2022. At this pace, SpaceX SpaceX's boss, Elon Musk, promises SpaceX could complete up to 100 rocket launches this year, making the private space firm by far the most prolific company or space agency to send payloads into space. SpaceX has delivered around 80% of all Earth payload mass to orbit in 2023. China is around 10% and the rest of the world is another 10%, Mr. Musk posted on X.com. If that's not enough to amaze you, the SpaceX founder even shared more ambitious plans. Musk said he wants SpaceX to launch 10 times in just a month with 12 launches per month starting next year, which would get SpaceX to 140 to 150 launches in 2024. It's something you wouldn't even believe a year or two ago could actually happen, except from a government space agency like China and Russia. They launch a lot of rockets, but not even this many. So for a private company to do it, it's just phenomenal, Dr. Ken Kramer of Space Up Close said. SpaceX's incredible launch cadence and capacity have placed them head and shoulders above the competition. The company has been launching orbital class rockets at an astonishing average rate of one every four and a half days. This remarkable feat is made possible by the utilization of their workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, known for its reusable booster that can achieve propulsive landings after launching payloads into orbit. SpaceX's ability to recover and reuse orbital class rockets has positioned them as leaders in the aerospace industry. Bryce Tech Data, a respected source for space-related analysis, further underscores SpaceX's dominance. In their second quarter of 2023 launch trends briefing, Bryce Tech quantified the extent to which SpaceX is breaking away from the competition. In each of the launch metrics tracked by Bryce Tech, including the number of launches, number of satellites launched, and mass to orbit, SpaceX outperformed all others. Comparatively, China's primary contractor for its space program, CASC, ranked second in these metrics, but was notably distant from SpaceX's performance. In the second quarter, SpaceX launched 22 times, while CASC managed only six launches. SpaceX also put 648 satellites into orbit, a stark contrast to CASC's 49. One metric where SpaceX consistently leads is mass to orbit. According to Bryce Tech data, SpaceX has topped the world in this category for seven consecutive quarters, often with a significant margin. This year, SpaceX has expanded its lead even further, sending approximately 10 times as much mass into space as its closest competition, CASC, in the first two quarters of 2023. In terms of spacecraft, the majority of launches in the second quarter consisted of communications satellites with Starlink deployment leading the way. Technology development, remote sensing, and other applications made up the rest of the satellite breakdown. Notably, commercial satellites significantly outnumbered government deployments, and an overwhelming 97% of the satellites launched were small sats. Well, this is before SpaceX gets the Starship and Super Heavy working. Starship and Super Heavy, being fully reusable and able to hold 10 times the mass, will greatly accelerate launches and multiply launch payload. Starship will take that to over 99% in future years. These magnitudes are madness to consider, but necessary to make consciousness multiplanetary, Musk said. SpaceX's Starship is the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, measuring 121 meters, give or take, in height and with a thrust of 5,000 metric tons, but is yet to successfully complete an orbital flight. Following a successful high-altitude flight test in 2021, SpaceX attempted a 90-minute orbital flight earlier this year, but it exploded just 
just three minutes into the flight. The next attempt is expected to take place this month, though no exact date has been set. Over a thousand design changes have been made to the craft since the first failed attempt, including new venting systems and heat shields to improve the stage separation of the upper and lower stages of the rocket. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration is yet to grant a launch license for the latest mission amid concerns about issues revealed in the first orbital launch attempt. SpaceX has already secured a multi-billion dollar deal with NASA to keep developing Starship for use on the U.S. Space Agency's Artemis mission, which aims to return astronauts to the moon this decade. Musk has previously said that Starship is integral to his plans to turn humanity into a multi-planetary species with the aim of deploying a fleet of starships to establish a permanent colony on Mars before 2050. In short, SpaceX has changed space flight forever. This decade is clearly the SpaceX decade. Strip away Musk's Iron Man celebrity, the dreams of a Mars base, and even his super rich customer paying to fly around the moon, and what we have is something that enabled SpaceX to entirely disrupt global spaceflight during the past decade. It's not imagination, it's execution. What's left is a launcher that, above all else, used clever engineering to create new vehicles that are launching payloads right here and now. That's real money, real real hardware, and real missions. Over 13 years, rockets from the Falcon 9 family have been launched 260 times, resulting in 258 full mission successes at 99.2%. The company landed orbital class rockets 223 times and reused recovered boosters 195 times. The active version, Falcon 9 Block 5, has flown 197 missions, all full successes. Bill Gerstenmaier, SpaceX's vice president of build and flight reliability, said in May that engineers were in the process of certifying Falcon 9 boosters for up to 20 flights for Starlink missions. Launches with customer satellites may be limited to rockets with lower flight counts. NASA has only certified reused Falcon 9 boosters with five or fewer flights for the agency's astronaut missions going to the International Space Station. That gives us a lot of capability to continue to reuse boosters and continue to keep flying, Kristen Mayer said. I think we are able to meet our manifest, plus some with the boosters that we've got in work. Indeed, the achievement is the first argument for dubbing this the space decade. The other major consideration is impact. The SpaceX effect is real. As a report by Jeff Matthews, specialist at Deloitte Consulting, puts it, the rapidly decreasing cost of launch over the past decade largely stems from the decision of Elon Musk's Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, to develop a vertically integrated vehicle production line that was more reliable, adaptable, and efficient. Now, new hardware is being developed to compete. Emboldened investors and government officials are opening doors to more players. NASA was following commercial crew more old for lunar landers, low Earth orbit sats, and all sorts of stuff. If SpaceX failed to kick down the doors and more importantly, succeed in their given missions, these opportunities would not have manifested so quickly and boldly. Or as the Deloitte report put it, this disruption or democratization of space as a new resource for these companies instead of just a few select players is fundamentally changing the commercial landscape. This impact is not limited to the US. On a global scale, SpaceX is now proven reusable rockets are the rage. On the business side of things, more nations including China are supporting private commercial companies to help drive innovation. Ariane Space, the stalwart European launcher, is fielding new rockets in part due to SpaceX's new price and capabilities. And there you have it folks, if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from from great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up. Oh, and uh, I'm not an AI. People get sick.